and six figs here from YouTube in today's video we're gonna be talking about the one and only internet computer that's right it's getting lit around here today we had man no drop an absolute banger of a tweet today marks a big day for both icp and bitcoin canister smart contracts on icp can now hold and control native bitcoin on the bitcoin blockchain bringing smart contracts to bitcoin this is powered by the internet computer now what's going to happen here is that as the post states bitcoin will be controlled on its network there will be another coin called CKBTC, which basically users will exchange their Bitcoin for CKBTC, and that stands for Chain Key Bitcoin. Uh, so, with that said, users can then exchange that CKBTC between each other uh, through any dApps, uh, you know, exchanges on the internet computer and you'll be able to move that Bitcoin at light speeds on the ICP network. At the end of it, once the user decides, okay, I want my Bitcoin back, well, they just go ahead and tap the smart contract or exchange their uh, CKBTC for Bitcoin. Uh, and that's a wrap. So it's a really cool system that they have down. Now, it, it's still not going to replace the long uh, delays that are happening on the Bitcoin Lightning Network, things like that. But uh, it is what it is. You'll be able to use and, and move Bitcoin uh, at web speeds uh, via the Internet computer. So it's awesome. Awesome feature. Uh, we got a tweet out of Southeast Asia ICP community. Big shout out to the Southeast Asia ICP community. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, Solana, 19 million transactions per day versus ICP. 600 million transactions per day. Why are people still pushing the narrative that Solana is the fastest layer one? It's obvious that internet computer is 26 times faster than Solana. So I thought we could go ahead and look at the IC dashboard. And real time, we are clocking 9,937 transactions per second. This was just up to 10,000 transactions per second before I kicked this video off. What's cool about this as well, this is another huge milestone today. We have hit over 200,000 uh, dApps, smart contracts on the internet computer. So this is awesome. Uh, what a great day for internet computer. First, they blast off with this tweet. Now they're doing over 10,000 transactions a second. I might have said day, but they're doing 10,000 transactions a second, which is nuts. Uh, 2.43 terabytes of smart contracts. It's insane. It really is. Uh, so this guy, Chase, uh, decided to drop this tweet. Congratulations, guys. SNS-1 token is currently worth 187 ICP, which is worth about $800. Pretty cool. Now, I didn't get in on the SNS-1 uh, thing. I was down in Miami uh, at a conference, things like that. Uh, so I just couldn't get in on it. Uh, but it was very cool. Heard there was a little bit of issues uh, with the launch pad, but uh, it seems like they got everything figured out. Uh, we did get a tweet, folks, out of the one and only Dominic Williams. He says, Bitcoin required blockchain decentralization. A ledger on Big Tech's cloud would get hacked, censored, and the devs held liable. Same is true for Web3, social media, games, metaverse, DEXs. All must be held 100% on chain with DAOs in control. And... Really, folks, when it comes down to it, this is my biggest gripe. And this is my concern. If you want to go ahead and build some kick-ass platform that is 100% immutable, 100% uncensorable, I want that option. And really, it's the only option is to run everything 
on chain, 100%. You could have some small loose ends that are not going to impact the user experience, maybe off chain. But the safest way is just to run everything 100% on chain. That way, it can't be interfered with. Your application can't be interfered with. Uh, things like that. So, I mean, social media, that's so censored. Man, even the media is so censored. Uh, so it's in, it's important that we, we see 100% on-chain. I like that idea. We had FastBlocks.com. Check them out on Twitter at FastBlocksNews. William Laurent was down there with a few other people. Uh, they had a nice booth set up. They were preaching about fast blocks. It's, this runs uh, all 100% on-chain. Uh, this is news on-chain. Can't be censored. Kind of getting back to what Dominic Williams was just saying right here. Let's get into the markets really quick as well. Uh, we've got a couple minutes left. Uh, we can see that the markets are kind of pumping. There's a little red here and there. ICP's up 2.8%. Biggest winners of the day so far. Hex, 11.4. Uh, we got Luna. Man, come on, guys. Luna? Man. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so... You know, market's kind of mixed right now. On my way back from Miami the other day, I dropped a tweet and I was like, listen, folks, I'm 30,000 feet up in the air and I'm going to start doing some TA because I bought the Internet for eight bucks for a couple hour ride. I thought it was well worth it. Right. Uh, so this was my prediction on icp let's see how i did i recognize that there was this inverse head and shoulders uh, and you guys can kind of see here was that inverse head and shoulders that i had drawn up on the chart just boom 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 and uh you know it is what it is so we are seeing these prices start to kind of take off i was kind of talking about how uh, hoping we get a run to $4.25, $4.45. So that is kind of where we're at right now with ICP. Bear with me one second, folks. Uh, you guys can kind of see that uh, this has gone up to about $4.36 in the cents in the last 12 hours. Let's look at this on the hourly. I'm really interested in this. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We are really obeying this uh, channel uh, level here, uh, which is kind of what I thought we would do. Somewhere right around this $4.25 to $4.50-ish cent level. So I'm hoping that we can break through the $4.40 cent level and stay above that level and kind of hop into this channel here, uh, which would be sick. And if we saw a move uh, that got us up into this channel, Maybe we would see some sort of symmetrical triangle squeeze uh, happen like this. We just have to play the waiting game, folks, like we've been doing for so long. It's been one of these things, folks, since last November. We have been waiting. We have been suffering. If you have been around crypto since last November or really any time within the last six months, you are a veteran of this bear market. And I do think that we are going to possibly start to see things turn around. Really, uh, this is not financial or trading advice at all. It's just something that I truly believe that uh, I'm hoping that the worst is over. Who knows? We could see other exchanges collapse, things like this. And this bear market has already cemented itself in the history books. I haven't been around for any of the other bear markets, but I would find it hard to believe that they are as catastrophic as many eyes on it. Um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. So stick around for the end screen. So we'll throw some videos up here. See you guys all on the next, ooh, excuse me, video.